There's no one whom I'd care to nail. Well, maybe Marilyn Quayle. I'm a celibate male. Thank you. That's Republicans in the audience. Thank you very much. <laughs> there must be <laughs> somewhere. Maybe not here. Uh, yeah. I gotta try this one. I try this one every once in a while when I'm feeling daring. But it's a public service announcement too. hits of the 70s. shown his warm humanity. 
each digger looked at him and said, but for God's grace, there's me. What's this I hear? Regarding the Iceman, gosh, can't you see? Thank you. He's rather a nice man. His prehistoric style expresses with a smile that for a woolly mastodon he'd gladly walk a mile. They thought him out and drew signs of decay. He gave a look that to all seemed to say, Would you rather meet Dan Rather or this gentle hunter gatherer? He's the ice man, that sensitive. Stone Age guy. Eat your heart out. He's the ice man that sensitive stone age guy. That was a song by Irving Berlin. And now, here's a song that was taken out of The Sound of Music, the, the, the dining scene of The Sound of Music. It's one of the best ones, actually. It's my favorite scene, but it wound up on the cutting room floor, and I happened to find the lyrics. They were in an old music magazine that somehow Oscar Hammerstein II had sent these lyrics in and they were lost otherwise. They're just, so I saved them for posterity. Here are the lyrics that were going to be in the Sound of Music and they wound up using those other lyrics. Bye. 
my chances for That was gravy fries. Richard Rogers is rotating, people. Rotating. You can almost hear him underneath the surface of the earth. Rotating. nice song because I've <laughs> for a change I wrote that in 1983 no way. <laughs> that song is almost old enough to vote <laughs> or something um, and uh, what time is it Say, um, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to do this song. Um, I'm not, obviously, I, I should be wearing this, and I'm going to wear this now to show you that this is on my finger. <laughs> See? It's on there. Uh, but I wrote this song when I didn't have one of these, and it's kind of like one, uh, what's the matter? Put your hand up. Uh, this one? Oh, that one, right? That's how I see it. You can see it. No, this is going to be the confirmed bachelor denial song. <laughs> I do that. I no? I didn't get it. No, I wrote, I wrote this song when I didn't Wait, have one of these. put it up there. I can't see it. Oh, you can, can you see it now? Wait. There. Zoom in. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. Have you got it? Yeah. Okay, this is, uh, I'm glad they're letting us take home movies while we're okay. driving out customers. It's wonderful. Uh, this is great. Um, I should have, I should have said that there were, I should have bought everybody a cup of coffee. Maybe I'd get more, more people on here. Here's a, here's a song. Uh, it's too late now, sorry. <laughs> When you ask me if I'm married, I say no and shyly smile. Many single years I've tarried, a confirmed bachelor and be not. Yes, I'll tell you when the day is, when I meet one who's my style. Will I find her 
what they say is a confirmed bachelor in denial. I loved a girl, and then I lost her. I guess somehow I must have crossed her when she thought of time I cost her waiting for me to change. How strange. So you say it's good I mingle, that I'll find love in a while. How I strive to not be single, a confirmed bachelor in denial. All my friends have tried to mate me with a blind date who's new bile. Uh, somehow none can tolerate me, a confirmed bachelor in denial. I remember what St. Paul said, burn or marry, that's the trial that I think of what they all said. Confirmed bachelor in denial. I'm so alone, for I've seen sadly many unions turn out quite badly, but I know I'd marry gladly she who let me just be, just me. But that girl, I'll never find her. Oh, yeah, right. Love eludes me with such guile. I'm that big pain in the hinder. I sure am a confirmed bachelor in denial. Thank you. Well, that was, oh, you're listening. Thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, so you're the one. Uh, wonderful. Uh, it's, it's, it's fun. It's, uh, we're just here to have, I'm having a lot of fun entertaining myself mostly, but <laughs> do that. Um, did you invite any friends? I invited, uh, yes, but all my imaginary friends are here. <laughs> I do. Yes, it's, I've got a cheering section over there, and only I can hear it. It's wonderful. Uh, I had a nice, uh, what one I wanted to do here? Um, it was... This is what I wanted to do. Maytag. Okay. like a road company version of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, by the way. I'm not going to do that. I won't subject you to that. She fell in the washing machine. She wanted to keep her clothes clean. She spun and spun and now her life is done. She died in a Maytag, a durable Maytag, but her life didn't have a guarantee. They found her smiling and dead. They found her smiling, they said. A sad disgrace with blue cheer on her face. She died in a Maytag, a powerful Maytag, but her life didn't have a guarantee. Now I'm the loneliest guy in town. This whole thing is getting me down. I went to the store, saw the repairman once more. I said, bring back my baby. He said, get out the door. I could have saved her that day. Through wash and rinse, she was okay. Then the spin, that cycle did her in. She died in a Maytag, a dangerous Maytag, but her life didn't have a guarantee. My 
my clothes are all covered with grime. Oh, Lord, how I dread laundry time. The laundry room is now my baby's tomb. She died in a Maytag, a violent Maytag, but her life didn't have a guarantee. I'll soon have to buy some new duds. These all contain various cruds. I'd rather spend than meet my baby's end. Maytag, but her life didn't have a guarantee. Now I'm the loneliest guy in town. Folks think I'm playing the clown while well, I'm dressed for it. I walk down the street, tell the people I meet, please, please bring back my baby. They say, go wash your feet. I dreamed about her last night. She said, all gleaming in white, enough Go wash your filthy stuff. But beware of the Maytag, that treacherous Maytag, for your life doesn't have a guarantee. Thank you. Little Maytag. Well, there's a new crowd in here, so I'm going to do Inflate a Girl again. And uh, that's my. <laughs> this is one that will. This is. Maybe I can remember all the words this time. <laughs> that's, uh, that's always a, a challenge when you write a lot of songs, and there are a lot of different things going on, and you're trying to think about everything. Actually, I'm going to cheat, but not too much. Now that my voice is considerably raw from this evening. I just found a brand new girl. I know she seems an airhead. A lightweight mentally. But she's breezy as can be. When you meet my brand new girl, you'll know I'm a lucky guy. She doesn't drink. She doesn't smoke, and she's only 20 PSI. You want to date a girl, but can't locate a girl. They can't create a girl that's quite as great. A girl hasn't played a girl. Has your roommate a girl that's as ornate a girl? Has featherweight a girl and as first rate a girl hasn't played a girl? such a fanatic because that girl is so super pneumatic if you await a girl you'll never hate a girl that's as a date a girl as good as skate a girl as not played a girl now you've met my brand new girl say isn't she a cutie her durability makes her just the girl for me now, if you want a brand new girl, buddy, here's an order blank. Yeah, they use such things. Just pick the one that suits you best. It'll be like money in the bank. They overrate a girl who's more sensate a girl. I celebrate a girl who's never late. A girl I can play a girl. They should mandate a girl. For each inmate a girl, they can uncrate a girl who's not jail bait a girl like and played a girl. Why does she bring me such fascination? Because she fills at the Texaco station. No imitate a girl is as cut rate a girl. Twelve ninety eight a girl with the rebate a girl called inflate a girl. Thank you. A little, yes. That, that's my one song. I'm going to do that again now. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, this, this is a... I'm going to do this song even though some people find it extremely um, 
you hate you you hate this one. I'm sorry. What is it? Um, personal ad. <laughs> you don't like it, do you? I don't care. You don't care. Well, but we're beyond caring here tonight. This is our show, the Beyond Caring Show, and I'm beyond caring too. And I'm glad to meet you. <laughs> I was reading the classifieds, looking for a set of golf clubs. Well, I didn't find those golf clubs, but I found something else. She's a single white female, chunky and spunky, since we got together. She's my special love monkey. I found the girl of my dreams in a personal ad. Her taste in decors, a little bit schlocky. It's a blessing we both like big Harleys and hockey. I found the girl of my dreams in a personal ad. She likes movies and bowling and all of the stuff of which I cannot ever get quite enough. She's especially fond of late walks on the beach. It's a good thing our blanket is always in reach, but I still have my doubts, and this is my terror. I'll awaken, she'll be a typographical error. I found the girl of my dreams in a personal ad. She doesn't have hang-ups or baggage to speak of, except for the PMS. She has a week of, I found the girl of my dreams in a personal ad. She's snuggly and cuddly and cute as a rabbit, and she has got the darlingest opium habits. I found the girl of my dreams in a personal ad. She's so witty and bright, with a beautiful soul and a bladder that's almost under control. She's so generous, too. She's shown how she can give. She gave me her herpes and crabs, but I'll live. She's such a sweet kid. I can't hurt or deceive her. But if she unlocks me, in a minute I'll leave her. I found the girl of my dreams in a personal act. I was saving that one. <laughs> I'm glad I did now. And you have plenty of time. I am doing very well. I feel I feel pretty good for a change. Actually, it's, it's nice and quiet in here. I can hear myself think, uh, <laughs> which it's not. Maybe that's a mixed blessing. Who knows? Um, Do the one without the coma. Oh, oh, I oh yes. I guess, I guess I can get away with that one. Yes, I can get away with that one. No, no, uh, it's, this is, this is a song, a very tragic song. I wrote this about the same time I wrote the Maytag song. I was, I was listening to a lot of teenage death songs from the 50s, and this is kind of a 50s teenage death song, but not quite. years to her family and the doctor I'm pleading through my tears don't pull out the plug oh no I need a warm body to love the doctor told me listen she hasn't got a chance and so I told the doctor don't screw up our romance, don't pull out the plug. Oh no, I need a warm body to love. Oh please, please, doctor, doctor, won't you just let us be? She forgot to sign her license. 